Okay, we are going to set up an Express.js application, a server, then load it into Node.js shell. But we are going to focus on loading it into Node shell, not the preparation of setup node and Express. We are doing this to kill time. By doing this, we can check more variables and see the states of the application because we load it into node shell. We can do it interactively. This is making fun, not seriously. How to install node.js? You can visit their website. I put the link here. And uh, same as how to install Express and Express Generator. Express Generator supposedly to make your generator framework for your application. There will be more decent documents on a price website. I put link here. Basically, I use the command a price to set up the application. I use the handlebar template. So there is a option HBS. Our project name will be REPL. It means read eval print loop. It's another name for the node shell. After the command running, we get a folder named REPL, REPL, and it contains subfolders, which is set by Express. It given as a decent structure to do web application development, it's a good start point. The folder and subfolder structures. Then we cd enter into the folder. Install necessary npm modules by npm install, the famous npm install. After it finished, it takes a little bit uh, a li little bit long to run. We get required module installed to our local folder. Then we do a little modifications to the code given by Express Generator. We can change some code. Not very big deal. Let's read the code. First, there's required Express module. And then we required a few other module such as path, favicon. Favicon support, um, is for the favicon things. It's the icon of your website. Logger is using Morgan, a module for a price to, lo to do logging, and the cookie pass for cookie, body pass for the um, HTTP forms. Roots. It's a price way to organize all our URLs for those web page. And APP is the Express application. The name stands for its meaning. Then we set some fun configuration for the application. It do some setting and using some middlewares. APP.deals is actually using those middlewares. It's, a, it suppo it's supported by other modules, such as body parser and cookie parser. Then we use static web page. Here is what we, what we added. It's a function named watch to name the watcher to watch the state of request and the response. And uh, we can check those requests and the responses in the node shell. It's very simple. It's a normal express function. It got parameter of request and response. After we keep the reference, we assign the variables we call next. Next, supposed to pass the request to the next middleware, so a price can take 
can do more jobs on the request and uh, give the response. All those codes are given by Express, and at last, we didn't pass to the another file. We just let the application listen for the part. Here, we give the part number 3300 is our part number, and we listen on the part. It's OK. When it's OK, the console log will give us a message Express is listening on part. It should be 3300. This is the code. Then it's time to load the code. We just run node. Run node and we are in the node shell. Then we use the dot command in node shell. Remember we are in the current folder of our project. The repo. Then we load app.js. Dot load space app.js. Then we can see the output. All those output, and then we got it. Express server listening on part three thousand three hundred. Okay, it shows our server should running and we go to the web page go to the browser and check the web page say we got the web page why i'm always keep using many browsers because i live in a place where bureaucratic bosses guiding our network closely i'm not supposed to be safe to read foreign software codes it's funny and because all those websites has been blocked. It gave me a sense of warning that I'm not safe to read code from node.js or GitHub. Yes, everything is okay. See, when we visit the web page, we got something in our node shell. Yes. Got something not defined, it's okay. Yes, we can make everything work. It's okay. We do this not for business or other theory or other serious purpose. We do it to find funds and playing with code. I just show it can work. But if you are seriously care about software or hardware safe, please study out the topic and contents before you try it. I will put all my code at the GitHub repository. If this helps, I would be glad to know. Thank you, it's all.